Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural horror film, Alone. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with Pim, a woman originally from Thailand, but currently lives in South Korea. Together with some close friends, her husband, Wee, surprise Pim at her house and celebrate her birthday. A friend offers Wee a slice of the birthday cake, but he only eats one bite before giving it to their dog, as he has real diabetes. Everyone gathers around a table as one of Pim's friends does card reading. Pim smiles widely as she hears good things happening and will happen in her life. However, as her friend turns around the last card and says what it means, Pim's smile vanishes. It says that someone she lost a long time ago will return to her life, and there will be a cost. Fortunately, another friend cuts in and jokes that the card reader's predictions are not accurate, because she would have been married by now if they were true. This lightens up the mood in the room, but Pim knows and feels something strange about it. Later that night, Pim does her wife's duties, injecting her husband with his insulin for his diabetes. As they prepare to sleep, the married couple receives a call from a hospital in Thailand. Pim's mother is currently confined and very ill. This concerns Pim because it's her mother, but there is more to it. She looks at herself in the mirror and caresses the huge vertical scar on her abdomen, a permanent reminder of her desolate past. Pim expresses her concern with Wee about returning to her childhood home during the flight. Pim has blamed herself for wanting an operation that caused the life of her twin sister, Ploy. As a loving husband, we comforts his wife and tells her that being born different is neither her fault nor her twin sister's death. They go to the hospital, where the doctor takes them to Pim's mother as soon as they land. The doctor informs them that they have to wait for Pim's mother's condition to improve and heal, because her brain injury forbids her to communicate with them verbally. After visiting her, the couple goes to Pim's childhood's spacious home, where Pim reminisces all the memories she had with her conjoined twin sister. Everything around the house reminds Pim about her dead sister. The piano, the closet full of their clothes and shoes, the mirrors, the photo album, and Ploy's glasses. After having a hot shower, Pim sees an infinity sign drawn on the mirror, which she quickly erases with her hand. Pim huffs as she and Ploy used to draw the sign on the sand when they were kids. She calms herself, lies down next to her husband, and hugs a hot dog pillow. However, as she looks down, she finds herself embracing the ghost of her twin sister. Pim screams from shock and immediately wakes up Wee, while keeping her back turned away. As Wee wakes up confused, Pim looks back and finds nothing unusual at her bedside. The following day, Pim revisits her mother, who wakes up upon feeling her daughter's face on her hand. Pim becomes concerned and confused, as she sees her mother looking at her with fear in her eyes and her body trembling from it. Later that day, Pim questions the house's caretaker, who has also been her mother's caregiver, about her mother's condition. The caretaker finds it strange that Pim's mother always locked herself in her room and cried like she was afraid of something. She does not know what scares her, but whatever it is, it terrifies her to death. On that same day, the couple gets called to the hospital after Pim's mother had a relapse. They decide to spend their night at the hospital, in case her condition worsens. As Pim takes a sip of her coffee, she accidentally pours it on herself, staining her blouse. The stain spreads across her stomach, but instead of coffee, it's blood. She drops her coffee in shock and screams in fear as she tries to stop herself from bleeding to death. A nurse calls her attention, asking if she is okay, making Pim realizes that what she saw was not true, and it was just her imagination. Pim dismisses that and waits outside her mother's room with Wee. Not long after, the doctor informs them that Pim's mother's condition has worsened, but they do not know how bad it is. The state of her condition depends on her will to live. Later that day, Pim looks for their dog as she has prepared its food. She hears the bad-tempered dog barking, so she follows the noise, leading to the top of the stairwell. Pim finds the dog barking in front of the mirror, so she confusingly looks up, only to be shocked as she sees the ghost of her twin sister breaking the glass. Due to her shock, Pim accidentally slips, causing her to fall onto the stairs and lose consciousness. Pim gets confined in the hospital because of what happened, and Wee is outside taking care of the hospital bills. Pim wakes up and goes to the bathroom to clean up, only to be haunted again. She doesn't see Ploy in the mirror this time, Instead, she finds a different reflection of herself in the mirror. Pim repeatedly smashes the mirror, wanting it to stop. We hurriedly rushes to her, upon hearing the noise and her screams. He finds her on the bathroom floor, hugging her knees with tiny wounds from the broken mirror. After the nurse cleans her wounds and leaves, we convinces Pim to tell him what happened. Although unsure of his reaction, Pim confesses that she keeps seeing her twin sister. This confuses Wee because Ploy has been dead for years. So he suggests seeking professional help, which offends Pim as her husband thinks of her as a crazy person. The following day, we introduces to Pim his best friend, a psychiatrist. At first, Pim warmly greets him, but after discovering that he is a psychiatrist, she storms out and walks to the garage. 
We follows her, but Pim gets inside the car and drives it out of the garage, accidentally running over their bad-tempered dog. Pim gets out of the car and cries in Wee's arm, as she sees the poor dog's blood staining the cold ground. Because of this, Pim reluctantly agrees to seek the psychiatrist's professional help. Pim shares how she and Ploy used to be together every time, not because they were conjoined, but because they love each other very much. Pim loved her sister, and she was always there for her. She was the one who gave Ploy eyeglasses, and would always take care of her whenever she was sick. Pim was caring and loving, while Ploy's nature was harsh and cold. The psychiatrist ends the session when Pim breaks down into tears, after mentioning her separation from Ploy. After that, he informs Wee that what Pim experiences is a type of psychosis. People who suffer from this mental illness, cannot differentiate reality from fantasy or imagination. If a person unconsciously aligns their guilt with this, it creates visions. Luckily, this type of illness can be easily cured, and in their case, returning to Korea will be a big help. As they need to stay in Thailand because of Pim's mother, We takes her away from the city to a beach house. There, Pim distracts herself by walking on the beach sand and staring into the abyss. However, she finds extra footprints on the sand as she looks at her right, showing that somebody might be accompanying her. This scares the smelly shit out of her as she is alone, so she rushes inside the house, only to be baffled upon hearing We talking to someone else. She follows his voice to the kitchen, and is terrified to see herself sitting across from Wee. The woman looks at her, and Pim gasps in shock, when she sees that she has no eyes. Pim wakes up, only to find herself wetted by the nightmare. She gets up, turns on the fan, and gets back to sleep. However, her eyes open, as she feels a presence behind her. And so when she looks back, she finds Ploy's body hanging on top of her. Pim can only gasp in shock and fear, but her noises are enough to wake up Wee. The following day, we meets up with the psychiatrist and shares that Pim's condition has worsened. He also reluctantly shares a belief that if one of the twins dies, the other left must die too. As expected, the psychiatrist disregards that superstition. We comes home and sees a silhouette of Ploy, putting her right arm on Pim behind the vintage dressing room. Although scared, we walks towards it and is relieved to see Pim alone. Later that day, the doctor advises we not to transfer Pim's mother yet to South Korea and waits for her condition to get better first. After the doctor leaves the room, we sees a boy in a wheelchair, reminding him of his past. A flashback plays, revealing himself in a wheelchair, and accidentally seeing Pim and Ploy from their hospital room. The twins get a lot of strange stares from everybody in the hospital, even the nurses and other staff, because of their peculiar condition. But unlike the rest of the people in the hospital, we stares at them because of Pim. Although they are identical, Pim's beauty stands out for we. He sketches them every time he gets to see them. And when the twin accidentally sees his drawings, they are not just impressed with his skills, but also because he finds them attractive. The flashback ends, and Wee rushes to Pim's mother, whose heartbeat suddenly increases. The poor old woman tries to say something to Wee with all her might. Meanwhile, Pim goes upstairs to investigate after hearing clattering noises. She enters her childhood bedroom and is shocked to see Ploy's glasses on the bed. She immediately takes and hides them in the drawer. She takes her pill medication to calm herself, before taking a relaxing bath. Pim closes her eyes and calms herself in the water, and Ploy suddenly appears, and wraps her arms around her sister, drowning Pim. Pim grips the curtain, successfully freeing herself, so she quickly gets out of the tub. However, the power suddenly goes out, so she hurriedly takes a flashlight, and goes downstairs, where she sees a horrifying apparition of Ploy. Pim screams before running away, when she bumps into Wee, who had just gotten home. Pim breaks down into tears, terrified because of Ploy, and relieved because Wee comes home just in time. The following day, Pim shares what happened to the psychiatrist and expresses her concern for her life. The psychiatrist calmly talks to her, saying that what has been happening is a figment of her imagination. So as to prove it, the psychiatrist asks her to look at herself in the mirror. Although scared from past experiences, Pim looks at herself and says she sees ploy, despite her reflection. Then, a flashback continues the story of how the twins' friendship with Wee grows. They become Wee's model, but he only has his eyes on Pim. He expresses his romantic affection towards Pim, such as giving her flower, taking care of her wound, and even visiting her while asleep, to give her a necklace. However, as Pim and Wee's romantic feelings deepen, Ploy's jealousy grows inevitably. Wee has to leave the hospital one day, as his treatment is done. He waits for Pim and Ploy to show up, to give his gift and letter to Pim. However, they do not show up. He doesn't know that Pim repeatedly begs her sister to stand up, so they can meet Wee. But Ploy's jealousy overpowers her love for Pim so she physically forbids them to meet. Despite that, we still leaves his gift to the nurse, before leaving in devastation. The flashback ends, and the psychiatrist attempts to convince Pim that she should not feel guilty for wanting that separation. Pim breaks down into tears, as her conscience consumes her. So the psychiatrist suggests that she forgives herself, 
and maybe it will put Ploy in peace. Pim follows his suggestion and goes to the temple, where she leaves all of her sorrow. After that, Pim goes to the hospital to visit her mom. She enters the elevator alone, and when the steel door closes, she sees Ploy's reflection beside her, putting her head on her shoulders. Pim shuts her eyes tight, and repeatedly mumbles that Ploy is not real. After calming herself down, Pim opens her eyes, and is relieved to find Ploy gone. After visiting her mom, Pim comes home, and surprises Wee with a new dog of the same breed as their dead one. Later that day, Wee delivers the good news that the hospital in South Korea has agreed to transfer her mother. Hours later, the weather becomes grotesque, so Wee immediately closes the windows in every room. After closing the windows in Pim's room, Wee picks up the mess on the floor. He crawls underneath to clean up the other things, but he unexpectedly witnesses someone moving on the bed. We hurriedly crawls out from underneath and finds the room empty. But to check everything, he lifts up the cushion and finds the gift he gave to the nurse years ago for Pim, torn up and taped together. So the following day, he confronts Pim about it if Ploy had torn it up. Right then, a flashback reveals that the drawing contains only Pim, separated from Ploy. After seeing the drawing, Ploy tears the paper into pieces, ignoring her sister's pleads and cries. This causes Pim to hate her sister and want a separation. Wee's suspicion was right, Pim wanted the separation, and Ploy died because of him. The flashback ends, and Pim explains that she did not want Wee to feel guilty for what happened, because it was her decision. Pim also confesses that Ploy was incredibly jealous, because she also loved him. Later that night, while Wee is at the hospital checking on her mother, Pim is alone in the house and attempts to sleep, but Ploy continues to haunt and terrifies her. The following day, Pim had enough of the psychiatrist dismissing her visions and feelings. She leaves his office deranged, returns home, and puts everything that reminds her of Ploy on fire. When she removes their old clothes from the closet, she sees Ploy's body hanging inside. She rushes out, runs to the garage, and drives the car. However, she keeps seeing horrifying apparitions of Ploy, causing her to drive through the garden. We appear shortly after, and Pim rushes into his arms, but she soon realizes that it's Ploy. The glasses ceiling falls down on her, causing her to bleed and lose consciousness. Not long after, the real Wee arrives, and he immediately takes her inside, where she regains consciousness. Wee helps her stand up, when he sees the couch cushion beside Pim moves like someone had stood up. Wee dismisses that, and takes Pim to the hospital to get her injuries and wounds treated. After that, he goes to Pim's mother's room, where she whispers something into his ears. Wee drives to the temple, and discovers a tombstone with Pim's picture, despite the heavy rain pouring. It's then revealed that Wee is married to Ploy, rather than Pim. And that's why Pim saw Ploy's reflection in the mirror multiple times. It turns out, Ploy was so obsessed with him that she pretended to be her twin sister. Wee returns home later, and a devastated Pim greets him, and tells him that her mother has died. However, a flashback reveals that Ploy removes the oxygen pipe from her mother's mouth, killing her, so she cannot tell Wee the truth. The flashback ends, and Wee shares that his mother-in-law told him the truth before she died. As her secret has been revealed, Ploy has no choice but to confess the truth. Another flashback reveals that Ploy strangles Pim to death, because of her jealousy. When she sees Pim die, Ploy snaps out of her rage and screams for their mom's help. Wee is disgusted and shocked by Ploy's action, so he decides to leave her. However, Ploy will not let that happen, so she knocks him out and holds him hostage. Wee wakes up tied to a chair and gagged, and now bespectacled Ploy tells him the whole truth. Everybody loved her sister, and after she killed Pim out of jealousy, her mother stopped talking to her, and she became a figure of hate. She pretended to be Pim, even by cutting her finger to make the same scar as Pim, and convinced herself to be her, hoping that Wee could love her that way. Right then, Ploy's plan to make him suffer is interrupted, when she hears and sees the caretaker return to the house. Ploy goes downstairs and stops the caretaker from entering the home. Soon, she returns upstairs, only to discover that Wee has escaped with his diabetic blood. Ploy threatens to light the house on fire as she looks for him, prompting Wee to come out and fight her. This causes her to drop the lighter on the floor, lighting the house on fire. Ploy chokes Wee, but then finds an apparition of Pim underneath her, causing her to lose focus. Wee takes this opportunity and drops a shelf on her, then drags himself out of the house. Ploy repeatedly kicks the woods, hoping to free herself. But Pim's ghost crawls on top of her, and holds her down. As the burning debris falls on them, Pim smiles as her sister dies in her arms. The film ends with Wee visiting the twins' grave, and leaving the necklace he gave to Pim on their tombstone. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.